everyone, Mike Davenport here, a little Chevy dude. That is Devin Davis. Hey, she's, he's got a little bit of a Tourette syndrome, um, and it's the uh, first day of the month for him. So, because uh, he called in sick yesterday after Louisville lost their uh, head coach. So, but hey, I uh, wanted to do a quick video uh, of telling you how not to get screwed over by a car dealer. So I can do hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos this way, but I just ran into this and I wanna share it to you because it's really, really unique. So let me show you this vehicle. This is a 2018 Chevy Traverse, brand new body style. We actually gave this to another dealer on what the Northeast people call a dealer swap, what we here in the Midwest call a dealer trade, when another vehicle, another dealer needs a vehicle from us uh, or we need a vehicle from them, we trade vehicles. So to kind of show you this was our vehicle originally, you can see that was delivered to Bachman Auto Group. This vehicle has now got approximately 400 miles on it, 367, there we go, 367 miles. So that dealer, in yeah, turn traded it to another dealer so now it's went to three dealers and we just did a dealer trip dealer trade with the third dealer and it just came back to us how unique that's something that i've never seen in the 18 years of me selling cars then i noticed this right here now this is what i like to call the ripoff sticker this is typically stuff, and I did a video on this before, okay. and the number one comment I got on this video was I was chewing gum and how discredited I should be as a car salesman and all these negative things, which I just laugh at. They're funny. Um, so first of all, I'd like to point out I'm not chewing gum. That video years ago was probably the last time I chewed gum because it's just not something that I typically do on a practice. So uh, I have whited out uh, with my infamous paint pen that dealerships have, the, the, the guilty dealer uh, on this vehicle. But this is what I call a ripoff sticker. And uh, what this basically is, is low value, high profit for a dealership that is just a way to build profit into a deal because the margin on a car deal is extremely low. It's less than 3%. That's the working margin that a car dealership has. So a lot of dealers do this. I don't agree with it. I don't like it. And I think it's exactly that. It's a ripoff. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Since this was my car first at my dealership, brand new, um, I know exactly what this vehicle looked like. So keep that in mind. So I'm gonna come up here to the ripoff stickers I call it. Now the dealer will make it, call it a dealer addendum. Um, now there's, now this one isn't extremely bad. So this has got Z-Bart paint protection and then appearance package. So $5.99 and $1.99. Now the Z-Bart protection, paint protection is actually a pretty good price. So I'm not knocking that, but they're making you feel like it's already on the vehicle, one, it's not on the vehicle, and two, they make you feel like you have to take it. And, and when you talk to the salesperson, they're probably gonna tell you that you need to take it. And then we have the appearance package for $199. So they're adding $798 and bringing the MSRP dealer's price, as it says right here, not the, not the manufacturer's suggested retail price, at $54,043. Now, this little box here makes it look official. It makes it look a government. It's not. This is something the dealer adds on their own. Well, I've already told you the Z-Bart paint protection is not applied. And I can tell that because one, the paint feels just like it does from new. Now, if you remember me from my Xylon demonstration, i.e. Uh, salesman spray paints Corvette on showroom floor, which you can see right up here, right up there, right there. Uh, you can see that I have demonstrated this and I know what I'm talking about. So therefore, um, by the way, my Xylon is an option. I don't put it on cars. Again, I don't put ripoff stickers on my vehicles. So the Z-Bart has not been done. So the second thing on there is the appearance package. So again, back to me having this vehicle from the factory day one, there is nothing on this vehicle. If I get another Traverse 18, high country model it's going to look exactly like this so tell me where the appearance package is for $200 after a close inspection of the vehicle because I want to make this video correct I don't want to sit here and put out bad information for God's sakes I don't want to chew gum uh, because I know how the youtubers are out there like that so uh, this is the only thing I found on the vehicle that would be even remotely close to an appearance package and that's this right here this is a chevrolet and general motors approved accessory 
So this is something that I can get on every car in my inventory. Let me show you. So these are the wheel locks, again, GM accessory that you can get. Right there's your part number. You can Google that. I've done the Googling for you and you can see it on the screen right now. These range from anywhere from about 26 bucks up to about 50. So if you go to the dealership, you spend 50 bucks on it, that's a normal price, not 199. So the dealership has raised the price $150. 199. So it's 300% markup. 300%. Right, because it's 50, so $100 would be fit, would be 100% markup. It's 50 plus itself again, plus itself again, plus itself again. Yep, yes, 300%. 300 All right. All right. So after much dealership math, we have realized that, uh, <laughs> I don't know why we had so much trouble doing this, uh, but uh, that was Debbie, who is our uh, finance manager and who is a, an accountant as well. Uh, they have set this up to be 300% above the listed price. So again, I go back to my claim of this being a rip off sticker. So here's my best advice when you're out shopping for a brand new car. Never pay anything that is on this rip off sticker, addendum, dealer added price, whatever the case may be. Other things that you can find on this rip off sticker would be market adjustment. If you are looking for a rare car, if you're looking for something that's not readily available, they're going to put market adjustment on there in $5,000, $6,000, $10,000 above. I've seen twenty dollars and $30,000 above. Again, video right above explains why you don't pay over MSRP on a car. So make sure you never pay for that stuff. Now, a lot of dealers, and I want to be careful how I say this. Uh, I'm not going to say a lot of Kia, Kia dealers out there um, in the industry, but a lot of dealers out there will sit there, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, a lot of dealers out there will put a lot of stuff on their cars that is kind of an appearance package. Mud flaps, but, uh, bug guards, the vent visors up here. You know, they'll throw other things on there and they charge a ridiculous amount. I shop dealers all the time. I go in dealerships lots when I'm traveling around the country and I see this stuff all the time. I document it, I know what's going on, I can't be fooled, and there's no dealer, there's zero dealers in the country that can come on my YouTube channel or call me up or anything like that and tell me that I'm wrong, that that stuff is of value to a customer. Anything you have on here is almost a rip off every single time. If a dealership does it to like one or two cars, say, they, say they're demonstrating the exhaust, again, video above, of the Silverado, you know, that you can get with the Borla exhaust. That's an added value that a lot of people do. If they put a bed mat in there, or a bed rug, or a drop-in bed liner, or a spray-in bed liner from Linex, all of that stuff is an added value that a lot of people do. But if they're just doing that on every single car, there's a, there's a value to the dealership and usually not the customer. Because look at cars, very few cars out there have mud flaps, very few cars out there have vent, vent shades, coming from the dealership. Um, there are very few people add those because they just don't want them. So I'm not saying always, not even saying an 80-20 rule. It's probably like 50-50. The accessory, the accessory market out there is huge. So again, the best thing to do to not get ripped off from a car dealership is don't pay one penny of anything on here unless it's something that you see value in. But paint protection, appearance package, market adjustment, anything like that name, there's all sorts of names out there that dealerships make up. A manager in the background that is making extremely high six figures is making up names to put on here. This is nothing that's standardized, nothing that someone's telling them to do. They're just making stuff up. So again, I'm here for you. I'd love to help you purchase the next car. Remember, buying a car doesn't have to suck. I'm Mike Davenport. I'm a little Chevy dude, one of the top Chevrolet sales in the country, and I make car buying easy. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day, and drive safely. <laughs>